Hey, what's up, and welcome back to Interpreting the Star Trek. Today, I'm actually going to talk about streaming services, and I don't want to talk too much about Disney+, Plus since everybody and their mom already talked about it, so if you're interested in that, you can see that from basically everybody else in every different direction, but what I actually want to talk about is Apple TV+, Plus. and the reason why I want to talk about this is because nobody else seems to be talking about it, and I understand why. It seems to be a pretty impractical service. You basically need an Apple device in order to watch it. It makes it a lot easier, at least, if you have an iPhone, an iPad, an iMac, or whatever, especially when it comes down to setting it up, putting in your financial information. But you don't actually need an Apple device. You can see it on a PC, you can see it on a Roku or a Fire Stick if you have it, but not everybody has has those things. You definitely will not be able to see it on an Android device and you won't be able to cast it from a computer or anything. So you better have a Roku or a Fire Stick if you want to see it on a TV if you don't actually have an Apple device. Now the reason why I'm actually bringing it up at all is the fact that Apple TV actually has quality content and it has good stuff and it pains me to say that because I'm an Android user and subconsciously I want Apple to fail. I want to be able to believe that Apple sucks at everything and can't do anything right, but no matter how much I would like that, I can't deny the fact that it has really good shows. I hate to say it. When you look at stuff like Disney+, Plus, you know The Mandalorian. Everybody's talking about The Mandalorian because as far as production value is concerned, The Mandalorian is really, really good. But if you look at the other original content on Disney+, Plus, nothing comes close to The Mandalorian. You got High School Musical, the musical of the series. You got Encore, you got Jeff Goldblum, you got Forky asks a question, you got Pixar in real life. Some things are okay, but as far as production value is concerned, nothing touches The Mandalorian. Apple TV, on the other hand, I hate to say it, but they are consistently really good when it comes down to their content being really high when it comes down to production value. I haven't seen everything that Apple TV has done. I've seen two shows. I've seen Servant, which was executively produced by M. Night Shyamalan. And I've also seen The Good Morning Show, which has Jennifer Aniston, Reese Witherspoon, and of course Steve Carell. Both shows are really, really done very, very well from a cinematic level. They are consistent as far as how good they're made. And they're not even really the shows that uh, Apple TV is marketing the hardest. That would probably be Jason Momoa's... Uh, See, I have not seen that one. Uh, it looks good, though. It looks like it's just like the other uh, shows. It looks like there's a lot of production value in it. It looks like it's quality content. A lot of people really like it. Other shows that are on Apple TV, you got Dickinson, you got For All Mankind, and every single one of these shows, they all look consistently well done. And again, Disney Plus is inconsistent. Basically, everything else on that freaking service is not as good as The Mandalorian. Even when you look at the original movies, those were cheaply made. They feel like they should be on the Disney Channel or something. But the one thing that's really good about Disney Plus is that they have a ton of really big classical Disney films that everybody loves. Their archive is magnificently huge. There's a lot to choose from. Apple TV, on the other hand, has five or six original shows. They don't really have any movie to watch for free, at least not for now. Their content will grow as time goes on. But as far as consistently good original content, Apple TV might be winning a little bit. But at the end of the day, Disney will prevail because just like every other streaming service, it's not limiting itself to what device it's on. Another thing that you have to keep in mind when it comes down to Disney Plus is pretty soon they will have their MCU live action shows and then it will really, really kick off with being a service that is better than pretty much anything else out there. Right now you just have The Mandalorian. You got other stuff too, but really the only thing that anybody's talking about is The Mandalorian. Anyways, guys, I feel like Apple TV is good. I feel like you should give it a shot, even if it's just the seven-day free trial to check out what they have. Do it, you know? It, it's nothing on there is terrible. Check them out, you know? Tell me what you thought about them in the comments down below. I'm genuinely curious on uh, if you've seen Apple TV and uh, what you thought of it. As for YouTube, you know what to do. Subscribe to my channel if you like this video. And if you would like to see anything more like it, hit the thumbs up button because it always helps out my channel. And don't forget about the little bell icon because that helps notify you when I come out with my next video. And until then, peace out.